Hey all, it's Josh here. So continuing our series of battle reports, going over the uh, MESBG tournament that I played in about a week or so ago. We are now on to game three. So for just a quick recap, I had two pretty decisive victories. And now going into game three, I'm going to be up against Kevin, who... You guys may have seen in a previous battle report on the channel, but he is also bringing dwarves. Uh, so he decided to bring Army of Thror. And once again, uh, an absolute horrible matchup for me because I need my great beast to be doing a bunch of work. And <laughs> that's it's just not, not going to happen with Defense 7 baseline troops. So... Oh man, we'll uh, get into it. This will be the the last game of the Saturday as well. So yeah, we will go through it and see how things play out. For the scenario, we ended up with capture and control. Yeah, so uh, going into this scenario, for rolling off, I, I think Kevin rolled uh, five and six on his war bands and I ended up having to deploy the great beast uh, in this section whereas my other two could have gone anywhere so there's the five objectives you guys can't see the fifth one and they're sticky so once you control them for a round then it you keep it until one of your opponent's models gets base to base with it and then it flips over to them okay so yeah just before we start up the game going into this uh yeah i was pretty apprehensive about this game because we start so close and because of, because of that i can't even use my mobility to get myself some some favorable favorable combats and stuff and then after kevin finished his rolls and all that he deployed everything right on the center line right there so i mean yeah <laughs> pretty much pretty much screwed from the get-go <laughs> so let's start here so yeah this is our initial deployment you can see I deployed over here with the Shadow Lord. This was the Witch Kings, and then this was the Great Beast. And then Kevin's entire line is, as you guys can see, all along here, right? And then he's got like one guy back here, basically. Kinda, I mean, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't play this game very well, honestly. I should have probably done like a refuse flank kind of thing and just maybe stacked everyone kind of over here and done like a big push with everything into a little bit of his army. Um, and then, you know, that would have split it up. So like it would have been this whole half of his wouldn't have been able to fight versus my entire army for the first little bit. But, uh, you know, third game of the day, I was getting tired and kind of a little annoyed at having to fight dwarves again in the same day. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just how it goes, I guess. Getting into round one, we have a, a good that wins priority. A couple throwing axes, kill some Moranins, and I lose three Black New Minorians to combat, which is pretty unfortunate. And we've got uh, the Witch King over here. He is just kind of like moving around looking for stuff to magic. I, yeah, that was another thing about this army is that there, there wasn't any obvious magic targets and things to try to magic because like black dart is pretty costly and to just use a black dart to kill a model around i don't know it didn't it just didn't seem that worth it so yeah if you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel check out our shop at etsy.com shop battle bond miniatures 
where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories by creators such as Sarley Factory that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. Round one, um, lose a few models, unfortunately. Other than that, pretty uneventful. Round two is good, good priority again. Uh, so we can see here, this is where the Shadow Lord ended up. Uh, the Witch King is kind of here, in case you didn't see that. And then the Great Beast is over here. So obviously this is after moving. The Beast got a trample, but killed nothing. But what it did do is it let me get right on top of this objective. So it's basically right in the middle of his base. So now in order for him to be able to capture that objective, he has to kill the beast essentially, which I thought was a good play. But I mean, turns out it was pretty easy for him to do in the end. Yeah, and then the, the Shadow Lord and the Witch King just ended up transfixing his heroes this turn. And actually, w what I did do is uh, I, I I wanted to get kind of a hole in his lines on this side. So the Witch King actually came around over here and um, called a heroic combat against this guy so that he could move over and uh, help out over here and start kind of whittling away some models, hopefully. And he uh, did nothing with it. So basically, I just wasted might. <laughs> uh, yeah, so not great. I'm, I'm basically at a point where my army is a little too small to have to try and deal with all these dwarves. Because I, I think the total, there's like 37. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I forgot I didn't grab, um, I didn't grab a, a shot of his list. But... Uh, again, he Kevin here came second in the tournament, and he is featured on the Any Heroics podcast. So if you guys have a look at that, you can see his list, the, the full breakdown of it and stuff. Uh, my understanding is it's a pretty standard Army of Thror list. Uh, yeah, so my combats, turns out, they don't really do anything. Great Beast doesn't kill anything. I've already lost a few guys. Like, it's going very poorly for me. Going into round three, good gets priority again. I call a move with the Great Beast, and I actually lose. Um, Kevin also calls a, a move off, and he, he wins it. Uh, I forget who with who, but point is I, I don't get to do anything with the with the great beast. <sighs> There's not too much to say about this round except for basically I lose every combat and I lose at least the model in every combat. So you guys can see we've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> excuse me, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus the Great Beast. So we've got four, 14 different combats essentially going on here. And I lose them all. And I basically lose at least one model in every combat. Which means uh, I'm almost broken by the end of this round. So it's round three. I've done no damage to him. And he's pretty much broken me. So, <laughs> I mean, not much I can say about... Uh, what I what I can do after this, really. I don't like I don't have the numbers to recuperate. My magic can't can't really do that much and yeah, the great beast just can't really carry his weight against these defense seven troops. So this is kind of just an overview of the board after the combats and we can see so he's got uh a couple of guys on this objective. He's got a guy on this objective. And yeah, other than that, I just keep losing models. So nothing much else to say there. So uh, heading into round four, I actually win the priority roll. And what I'm going to do is because he's so slow, I'm going to send these two Numenorians over towards this objective. So over here. 
and over here to maybe put some pressure on him and kind of force him to actually have to split up his models a little bit. So that was my thought with that one. We can see over here, they, uh, they make it over there. My great beast gets surrounded. Perfect. And then basically everything else gets thrown into combat. And essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to keep him off of this objective. And hopefully break and have the game end this round. Uh, yeah, so I couldn't quite make it base to base with this objective. So even if I win, it's still going to be his. And then, yeah, great beast over there. So I do a bit of magic in this round. So this will this will just be the, the last picture of the game. But um, I do transfix... Um, one of his heroes over here. <clears throat> the other one does a heroic combat, comes over here, um, brings a few guys with him. I obviously lose this combat. Uh, I lose over here, die. I lost over here. Um, he does a couple wounds to the great beast, and I fail my courage check, so he gets it next game. And, I mean, we go to roll to see if the game ends and it continues so that's it i just call it there because there's literally nothing i can do at this point he basically has his entire army still intact he has control of my great beast so it, it's actually close enough that he can really just spin it and kind of run it off the board in that direction and then so obviously during his next round he can just put a guy on here he can keep me from getting onto here. Uh, he can put his models on here. So, yeah, I <laughs> there's no point in playing it out. I just gave him the 12-0. So, unfortunate, a um, really unfortunate way to end day one, especially after a couple of pretty resounding victories. Uh, I just get a completely tabled and. An absolute bummer of a loss like not not even getting any any points is pretty bad yeah but I, again being matched up against the dwarves i knew it was going to be an uphill battle and because he he didn't have to spread out uh i couldn't pick and choose the fights he was able to just come in and rush me so yeah like i said uh at the beginning of the video it's probably if if i would have done like a refused flank and had everything over here and kind of use this house as cover so that he would have had to walk all the way around like this and then i could have been like picking on his units over here that probably would have been the smarter thing to do but <laughs> uh yeah like i said i was tired and my list was not really optimized. So what do you do? So my goal going into Sunday is to just end up with more victories than losses. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for at this point. And yeah, we'll see how Sunday fares. So Sunday we have two games and we'll see where I end up overall. Thanks for watching, and if you like the battle report, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you back again for the next uh, battle report in this series.